Hello everyone, this is Madhu Srinivas, 611947, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, National Institute of Technology, Andhra Pradesh. Today we are going to discuss about texture. This is one of the topic in image representation and description. Let's go to the overview. These are the topics we are going to discuss in this video. Introduction to texture, classification of texture, advantages and application of image texture. Now let's go to the introduction of two in general, there is no particular definition for a texture. Uh, so, I mean, uh, scientists and researchers gave uh, texture as a um, me uh, measure calculation in image processing designed to quantify the perceived property of a pixel in an image. It provides the measure properties like uh, smoothness, corrosion, and regularity of an image. It gives a detailed information about the spatial arrangement of the pixels in the image and it can be created naturally and captured uh, artificially captured in an image as you see in this picture this is the naturally captured image uh, we can have a texture analysis using this picture now let's go to the classification of texture analysis the texture analysis is classified into three parts uh, statistical approach structural approach spectral approach Let's go to the statistical approach. Statistical approach is a quantitative measure of arrangements of intensities or pixel gray values in a region. It is uh, provides a uh, image properties like smoothness, coarseness, skewness, entropy, etc. These are the measures that can be obtained from statistical approach. In this statistical approach, we have two different methods: histogram method and co-occurrence matrix method. In histogram method we use a particular property means histogram of an image to calculate the measure image properties like smoothness corrosiveness and entropy skewness etc this method provides many features which is used to calculate the nth torque using the mean this this formula is the nth torque formula u of n mu of n of z is equal to sigma times of i equal to 0 l minus 1 zi minus m all to the power of m into p of zi and here we can get the mean for a particular uh, uh, pixel means uh, m is equal to summation of i equal to 0 l minus 1 zi into p of zi here zi is the random variable related to intensity or gray value range of an image p of zi represents the number of pixels in the image that are having the gray value equal to zi in histogram, we can uh, find the smoothness by using uh, the variance of uh, a pixels. Here, variance is equal to sigma square times of summation of i equal to 0 to l minus 1, z, zi minus m whole square into p of z. Skewness, it is, uh, uh, it, uh, it is a criteria for a historic symmetric degree, means it uh, represents how the historic, uh, historic uh, histogram graph is symmetry symmetric or not skewness we can uh, find the uh, equation as uh, sigma times uh, summation of i equal to 0 to l minus 1 xi minus m whole cube into p of z these all uh, equations are related to previous uh, uh, nth torque equation and we finally get the uh, we will have the final property as entropy the entropy is a uh, it's a criteria or variable uh, for a variable image and for a fixed image the entropy is zero because there is no differences between any pixel in the image so we can find uh, entropy is equal to uh, minus of sigma times of i equal to zero l minus one p of z into log two p of z we can see this formula is uh, uh, mostly related to information theory and techno uh, coding in uh, we studied in uh, three one Now uh, let's see. To, uh, let's go to the second method, co-occurrence matrix method. The co-occurrence matrix method is all related to the correlation between the image pixels, means neighborhood pixels or uh, uh, ending pixel to the starting pixel. It's uh, all related to the correlation between the image pixels. Mm, we in this uh, method we can we will take a k bit image uh, such that uh, that is having a two power k brightness levels and the uh, Co-occurrence matrix will have a L, L into L where L is the 2 power K 
uh, means uh, for example if we take a 3 bit uh, image we will have a 8 into 8 matrix that is created so that the number of occurrences of a pair of pixel with the brightness a comma b are uh, in a separate distance are uh, taken in that matrix uh, this uh, the matrix is actually defined for four main directions one is for 0 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees and 135 degrees and it will uh, represent the displacements means uh, for example uh, displacements like uh, one unit three unit two unit between two pixels as shown below Co-occurrence matrix, uh, co matrix method, uh, we can use this method to find the properties of image like contrast, correlation, energy, ho homogeneity, entropy and maximum probability as given below. Here we can see contrast equation and uh, all other properties equation based on uh, correlation matrix where P of i, j is the correlation matrix, so co-occurrence matrix. Therefore, the P of IJ is the normalized co-occurrence matrix and U of IJ is the average that it is calculated along the row matrix. Row matrix we have, in this, we will see the example in the next slide. Mm, similarly, we will have the sigma I and the sigma J uh, as a standard deviation calculated along the rows and columns respectively. And co-occurrence matrix method, this is the example for it. Uh, we we have taken a three bit image in that we have intensity levels up to uh, 9 1 to 1 8 means 2 power k means 2 power 3 8 intensity values therefore the co-occurrence matrix will have 8 into 8 means 8 rows and 8 columns the image uh, here we can see 6 comma 2 and 6 comma 2 and 6 comma 2 these are repetitive elements so we are keeping the 6 comma 2 means in the second column in sixth row we it's repeated three times so we are keeping three like that we will maintain a co-occurrence matrix by using this matrix we can find the uh, properties of images according to the uh, equations given in the above slide structural approach it uh, deals with the arrangement of the pixels based on a regular spatial parallel lines means uh, uh, the pixel, uh, the image pixels are arranged in different different manner. But uh, using this, we can uh, uh, have a, a texture uh, patterns uh, by uh, using a different uh, texture primitive by limiting the arrangements. For example, adding the uh, zeros to the image or expanding the image or contrasting the image. Uh, by using this image, we will uh, easily uh, add a texture to the image. Spectral approach is one of the important topic. Uh, it uh, mainly depends on the Fourier transform that we have studied in uh, 3 1 uh, and uh, 2 1 also uh, in signals and systems. Uh, Fourier transform, uh, it's, uh, this method uh, usually used to detect global periodicity in an image by analyzing the spectrum properties like uh, narrow peak, high energy, etc. Uh, yeah, this method, the, uh, the Fourier properties uh, are used are used for texture description uh, when uh, uh, like a prominent peak. Uh, using this prominent peak, we can give the principal direction of the texture, pat uh, texture pattern, and the location of the peak uh, and the frequency um, plane gives the fundamental uh, spatial period of the pattern. And uh, eliminating uh, eliminating any periodic components by filtering leaves non periodic uh, image elements. Uh, Therefore, the non-periodic image elements we can uh, calculate it through statistical technique we uh, learned in the above slides. We can see here for this image we have a Fourier spectrum this one and for this image we have, can have a Fourier spectrum this one. We can have a high energy at the middle see we can uh, the both are uh, uh, the intensity values are uh, high in uh, first spectrum and uh, first image and the intensity values are uniform along the column in the second uh, spectrum. Therefore, we can uh, observe that there is a slight difference between both the spectrums. Uh, um, this is the MATLAB code for spectral, uh, spectral texture analysis. Uh, the spectral texture analysis is uh, calculated, uh, properties are calculated using this uh, important formula S of R which is dependent on the radius of a uh, uh, image uh, radius of a Fourier spectrum and the theta the angle of angle of uh, Fourier spectrum here we can see uh, using this code we uh, first uh, 
we convert the image into a Cartesian to polar form using the code. We will see for every angle means for every 0 to 360 degrees we will uh, uh, we'll, uh, change the image from Cartesian to polar and uh, later we will find the spectral feature calculation using uh, uh, for r is equal to 1 to 100 means uh, we are taking a particular calculation for one uh, radio uh, one unit of radius to the 100 units of radius we will observe the graph in the next slide and the, for theta for we having we are going to calculate the full uh, features of uh, feature values of uh, uh, spectral analysis here for 0 to 360 degrees means full rotation we uh, will see the next um, um, graph in the next slide this uh, this is the graph for uh, uh, radius means we are using the gra uh, radius and this uh, graph for uh, theta is equal to 0 to 360 degrees as you can see the values in the x axis 0 to 360 degrees and in the graph we will say we are going to take 0 to 100 and uh, these uh, two spectrums are uh, this spectral analysis are given for this image um, and we will get to know about the advantage and applications of the texture using uh, image texture these image texture uh, methods are mainly used in object uh, recognition for example if you take a, a traffic light I mean someone is a uh, disobeying the traffic rules then uh, one of the CC camera in the traffic light can capture the vehicle uh, and uh, detect the number plate on the vehicle uh, using the object detection object object recognition uh, um, technique and uh, detect surface det uh, defects means uh, uh, for a uh, embedded system if there is a for embedded system or for a mo uh, MOSFET or a CMOS technology components. If we have uh, some defects in our uh, instru element instruments, then uh, we can uh, have a lot of uh, damage to the experiment. So this technique is used for uh, detecting surface de uh, defects. And we can see this image texture can also be used in satellites to capture the other images of a planet, so means uh, images of other planets. And it is uh, it will uh, recognize the pattern. For example, for example, uh, a signal is uh, re re going through a uh, image. A signal is going through one part to another part, and the pattern changes. Then the this this will recognize the pattern, and it plays an important role in medical image analysis like X-rays, MRO, MRI. These uh, the, uh, the MRI is ba mainly based on the um, image texture and uh, analysis, image uh, processing. Therefore, um, we can see these are the uh, this is the main uh, uh, main part of uh, uh, image representation and uh, description. Texture is very important in this topic, and uh, till now we learned about uh, what is what do you mean by texture? What are the properties we are going to learn? Uh, we are going to calculate in the image texture, and uh, what are uh, uh, what are the different classifications we have in a texture analysis and uh, we learn about structural, statistical, structural, spectral analysis and uh, we are go we learn about the some applications and advantages of the applications. If you have any doubt you can comment in the comment box and um, thank you. If you, have, if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask me in the comment box. So please like, share and subscribe to DSP NIT Andhra.